Hey, I'm Isaac with Mammoth Electronics. Uh, and in this video, we are going to put our clickless uh, true bypass switching module uh, into this Boss uh, DS1 pedal um, to make it true bypass. Now, why do you want true bypass? Uh, basically, when this pedal is off, uh, your signal is still running through all these components, uh, a lot of them, and it will bleed off some highs, you'll lose some fidelity. So by installing this uh, switching module, it basically uh, sends your signal through the input jack to the relay to the output jack. Uh, so you don't lose any of those highs or uh, any fidelity. So you get a lot better clean tone when the pedal's off, um, which can really help you out. Uh, and also, since it's a uh, an internal mod, you get to use Boss's own switch with it. Uh, you know, you don't have to drill on it. Uh, it's a really easy install, and we're going to show you how to do that. So, let's get started here. So first, we're going to open it up. All right. So now, it's usually a good idea. I found that if you make yourself a map before you start ripping wires out, you'll uh, have a much easier time doing this. Um, it does come with instructions, and I usually just write them on the instructions. So basically just whenever you take a wire out, uh, just write down you know, where it goes. So let's see here. We're going to take our positive, uh, which just goes to the 9-volt power. Now this is the only kind of tricky part. So the LED is actually hooked through, uh, you know, it has to get power from somewhere. So it's actually hooked through a resistor and a diode. So if you see here, it's hooked through resistor R35 and the D2 Zener diode. So what we're going to do is, since we're going to disconnect the LED anyway, we're just going to go through here and we're going to take out <coughs> this is the inner diode. <coughs> oh, this pops out like that. And I'm going to take a wire. And we will solder it to the positive. pad on the clickless PCB all right and so the power side is going to be on the left side of D2. So basically the arrow points to the power. So we'll just strip some more off there. Boost it up. And okay. Now, the negative pad just needs to go to any ground. And the good thing about Boss pedals and Ibanez pedals is on the output jack, there's usually a free ground lug that you can use. So, I'll just solder this wire on there. And on this pedal, there just happens to be on the output jack this ground lug right here that we can use. 
So you can just slip it through that hole. And take your pliers and you can bend it over. That way it stays in place because we're actually going to put something else there too. So the green and orange wires are your negative and positive to your LED. So we're going to go ahead and desolder those. <coughs> that should pop out of there. And we'll go ahead and leave the green wire there. And we will take the orange wire out. Because it's going to need to be a little bit longer than what we have right now. Okay, so we'll just take another wire, use this for our anode side of our LED, which is the positive side. Now, the other side of that wire, on the positive side, goes to your L-pad on the clickless PCB. Then your green wire will go to that same ground junction that your negative pad went to. And once you have the that green wire clamped onto the ground, you can go ahead and solder it. Once you have that done, you can actually kind of get this out of your way and screw it back down because you're done with the LED part. Okay, now we can hook up our switch, which the boss switches are usually a purple and black wire. It's just the two switches or two wires coming off of their switch. So we'll desolder those. This part is actually really easy because they just need to go in S1 and S2. It uh, doesn't really matter which one goes where. Just one needs to go to S1, one needs to go to S2, and you're good. Now we are to the actual input output wires. So I've written down on here that our input wire is the brown wire, goes to hole number one. So we will take that out. And that should be long enough. To go to your iPad. OK. 
Okay. Now, we also need to have a send wire to go back to that spot. So on the S pad, that is our send. We will put that back where the brown wire was and hold one. Now do the output side, which our output wire is this white wire going to the output jack goes to hole 11 which I have written down over there the output jack goes to the O pad on the clickless PCB a return wire okay then that goes back where our white wire just was to hole 11. Okay. So now the wiring portion is done. The uh, the C pad there actually is not used for anything, so you don't have to worry about that one. The last step is, and this is the tricky part, is because this is going to be a little bit different on every Boss pedal. Um, basically, there's a 56k resistor uh, in their FET switching circuit. That if you take that out, it sticks it into effect mode um, all the time. So on the DS1, this just happens to be R30. Um, and we'll have a list of those as we come across them um, on our site. Uh, let's see, so we'll go ahead and take that resistor out. Okay. So now you should be good to go. We'll just put some double-sided tape underneath this so it doesn't short up. And usually you can mount it right behind the output jack. Usually a nice flat spot there away from everything. And once you get it in there, uh, just, you know, kind of Put your wires in the center between the two jacks and you might have to bend a couple of parts over just to make a little room and closes up just like that and you should be good to go let's see if it so there you go no drilling no destroying your case um, so i'll just recap real fast where we put everything. So we took the LED PCB out. Uh, 
hook the power wire to D2, where the arrow is pointing on that side of D2 to connect the power. Uh, we then took the power uh, side, the positive side of the LED, and hooked it to the L pad. Um, we took the negative side of the LED and the negative pad of the clickless PCB, connected it to this ground point here that was open. Um, then we took our purple and black wires from our switch. Those went to S1 and S2. Remember, it doesn't, doesn't matter which one goes where. Uh, they just need to go to S1 and S2. Uh, then we hooked up our jacks. We took the brown wire from pin 1. That goes to the input jack. So we put that to the iPad. We took the white wire from pin 11 and hooked that to the O pad. And then our S pad is our send. So we went and hooked that back up to the one, one pad where the brown wire was. And then we took our R pad and hooked that up to where the white wire was in pin 11. And then we also had to take out R30 to send it into effect mode all the time. And that is it.